Hi everyone, in this video we see how to delta add uh, a cool option with buying or selling uh, a specific amount, which will be what we'll find out of the, the underlying stock. Uh, we start from the code of the previous video, which was about uh, computing uh, option Greeks. And uh, just, just as a reminder, by the way, I'll leave the, the link of the previous video in, in the description, of course. But first of all, we computed, for, uh, we selected the stock, the SPY, which is the standard poor 500. Then we computed the, the volatility. Then we plotted in the same plot both the SPY stock price and the volatility. And uh, then we computed the Black and Scholes cold price using the built in function BS. And finally, we computed all the Greeks. Okay, so now we can start with the, the video of today which is delta hatching and uh, okay first of all uh, just uh, as a reminder the, the a call option you uh, gives you the right to, to buy one contract of the underlying which means that you don't have the right to buy just one single share but you you can buy one contract which typically is about 50 or 100 shares and uh, okay, we we create a function. We call it, for instance, uh, number of shares to buy, and the input will be shares per contract. As I said before, typically it's 100. Then I have the number of options of call options I I'm considering. I want to add, and finally the delta of the option. Okay column and then we start writing our uh, our function okay the delta of the underlying i write it but i mean of course it's uh, the the derivative of s of the stock over uh, the s so it's just one in in the case of uh, of the underlying stock okay and then we we need to delta edge I write it as a comment, the, the one with the most famous equation in quantitative finance, which which is the delta hedging one, and the, in which we have the number of shares times the delta of the underlying, which is one, as I said before, plus the number of options times the delta of the option must be equal to zero in order to have a fully delta edge portfolio in in this time instant of course and so we just need to invert this formula and we have number of shares is equal to minus number of options times the delta of the option over the delta of the underlying and all of these must be must be uh, multiplied by the, the shares per contract as, uh, for the very same reason I said before. And finally, this function will print out this. So in order to be delta hat, you need to, and then we have two cases, which will be the first one is buy. This if the number of shares uh, is greater or equal, let's say, to zero. And otherwise, we need to write cell. Okay, and finally, the the number of shares. So we, we just want uh, an integer value, so we use round, and then the absolute value of number of shares. Okay, and uh, okay, we round with for instance uh, okay not an integer but we can use for instance two two floating digits and then we just need to write shares okay and that's the end of the function we also return it so just so if we need to to save it in a variable we already have it and uh, okay it doesn't seem to have uh, any mistakes so to, to test this function, we create our shares per contract, 
which as I said 100 can be a good value then I have the number of options which is one in this case I just want to add one single call option European call option and finally the number of shares we use our function which is number of shares to buy and then I have the shares per contract then I have number of options and finally the delta of the option which is I don't remember the name which is delta underscore option okay and uh, let's see and here you can see that in order to be fully delta edged you need to sell 63 time uh, oh, um, point 51 shares of the FPY and uh, just just before finishing this video just a single reminder because uh, very important in an actual in an actual uh, trading strategy if you choose to be to have your portfolio to be fully delta edged you must remember to dynamically delta hedge your portfolio for instance uh, uh, given a specific amount of time window but of course the drawback is that the higher you delta edge the higher is the delta hedging frequency and the higher the buying or selling fees are so you need to choose a good trade-off to in order to be dynamic delta edge but not too many times because otherwise you, you would end up paying more fees than uh, the actual earning and um, yeah that's it this is, was a really short video and thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this one and uh, see you in the next tutorial